number six ranked Merrimack men's lacrosse team locked up the number two seed for the upcoming Northeast 10 Conference playoff with a 20-5 victory over the Assumption Greyhounds on Saturday afternoon. The Warriors opened up the game on a 6-0 scoring run as Corey Lunny would find the back of the net three times while Greg Malau would record two goals and Paul Jones would score his ninth goal of the season. On the other end of the field, defenseman Brandon Waiter would pick up two ground balls and cause a turnover on the day. Uh, you know, we just played a complete game. Offense was firing on all cylinders, and you know, defense stayed tight all game, and everyone just worked really hard. And this was probably the most complete game we played all year. And I mean, uh, you know, assumption comes out here obviously on Senior Day, and, and you know, coming out here after a big win over St. A's, I mean, we know they have some talent, they can play, and, and you know, when they put it together, and I think right off the bat. You know, we came out with intensity and, and defensively we applied just enough pressure and offensively we hit our shots. Um, you know, but I think we've been kind of searching for that complete game all year and, and even what I say to the guys after is we brought in a lot of our bench. Uh, we expect the same standard from them when they come in, you know, even if they don't play the same minutes as a starter. And I think it was from top to bottom. Every guy who stepped on the field did their job and I think that was indicative and in obviously the score. The Warriors finished the regular season impressive 12-2 and and will host the winner of the quarterfinal matchup between Adelphi and Bentley. The semifinal matchup will face off on Friday, May 4th at 4 p.m. at Martel Mahal Field. Um, you know, it's a great feeling, you know, so you don't have to travel and definitely playing at home. It's a tough environment for teams to come to. So, uh, You know, the two seed, I mean, I think we might have even underestimated it last couple of years until last year when we weren't the two. And, you know, you go on the road for three games against three good teams and, you know, geographically a couple of different states away, it kind of wears on it. I think that's part of what happened to us in the finals last year at Delphi. And I think now it's nice that you know, you know you're at home on Friday. Uh, you know, you win that game, you're, you're in the N10 finals and, and you don't have to travel once, you know, if that, you know, so uh, from top to bottom, I think that, that's something that our guys understood from the beginning of the year and you, you fight and claw for every win in the N10 and that's why it is so important to get to that two seed at the end of the year.